This is Mike Lewis at Lewis Wholesale Nursery and Michael Hurst of Highland Hill Farm and they're going to be discussing the uh, paperbark maple or acrogrissum. Good morning. We're here at Lewis Nursery looking at some paperbark maples. Paperbark maples are a very nice tree. It has nice bark on it. If you look closely you can see the exfoliating bark. It almost looks like cinnamon strips. Uh, very attractive when it's peeling. After it peels it's a nice smooth shiny bark. Uh, paperbark maples get a real great fall color. It gets lots of intense reds and purples in them. Uh, it's a slower growing tree. It'll grow about six, eight inches a year for you. Um, we have them available in single stems as well as a multiple stem form like we have here. Uh, it's a great focal piece for anywhere on the property, uh, particularly in front of your house, uh, in a nice little garden. Mike, do you have anything to add? Uh, yeah, you can put this one closer to your houses, not like, like a river birch or any other bigger maples. Since this won't grow as big, this you can put closer, it won't grow into your siding or grow up over your house or into your gutters or anything like that. And leaving leaves in your gutters, which is good. Other things that people like about them is that uh, once you put them in, they're usually pretty good. But, and when the leaves fall off it, like Lewis said, you can see the bark, and that's when the bark really becomes an attraction piece to it. Do people highlight this at night with a light? They can, and usually what they do is they put lights up against it and having shadow cast against the house. How easy is this tree to, to, to grow? It's not it's, the easiest tree, but you can do I, it. I think, it's very, I think it's very adaptable to a lot of different kinds of soil types. It'll It'll take so that's a little on the wet side as well as a little on the dry side. Zone 5 to about 7? Yes. yes. And when you right. dig this, uh, describe how you'll dig it and what you'll do to dig it. Okay, this, this time of year we pre-treat the tree with Bioplex uh, just to make sure that it'll transplant easily. Uh, what we do is we have a mechanical tree spade, a hydraulic tree spade that'll just dig a bowl out for us. We'll put it in a wire basket with burlap tied up nice and tight. When it's ready to be planted, everything can go right in the ground. You don't need to cut the basket off, uh, cut the string off. It, everything will just ride in the ground itself. The wire basket uh, won't affect the growth of the tree. Now you have these in both uh, single stem and multi-stem. Okay. And what other trees do you have just in this area? We can briefly give people a... Uh, here, Mr. Hurst, we have some forest pansy redbud. Forest pansy redbud comes out. It'll show up good against my shirt with this reddish purplish foliage early spring to about midsummer it'll fade a little bit if you look further down the branch uh, any new growth will still come out with this purple color uh, it's very attractive it gets your typical red bud flower nice big almost magenta type flower at each leaf bud there'll be a flower uh, flowers on the new new growth from this year as well as the old growth from last year uh, it's a nice large shrub uh, it's a tree it's also available in a tree form Okay, and then over here? Over here we have another kind of red bud called Circus Covey. It's a weeping red bud. It has the same magenta type flower. You can see the flower buds here. You can almost see the little color in them already if you get up close. Um, and this just has a nice weeping branches. Great focal piece in a garden, um, anywhere in your landscape. Uh, in the spring when it blooms it's just a cascading uh, bunch of flowers, those magenta colored flowers. What are these trees over here, Mike? This is an unusual one. It has different colors on it. This is a Pradia persica. It's Persian Persia Pradia. Pradia. It's a member of the witch hazel family. You can see it's already starting to get its fall color. It's yep. just incredible. It purples and reds mm. and oranges and yellow. Uh, it gets an exfoliating bark. The bark starts to flake off a little bit when it gets older. It's mottled. Uh, How tall will this grow to be? About 20, 25 feet tall. It'll stay nice and compact. Uh, and again, this plant's also available in a multiple stem or shrub form, as well as a tree form. It gets a little purple flower on it in springtime. It's pretty insignificant, but if you look closely, you can find it. Okay, well, thank you very much. And uh, we hope if you uh, need some nursery stock, you give us a call at 215-651-8329. This is Bill Hurst, Mike Lewis, and Michael Hurst. And we're here to serve your tree needs. Thank you very much. We're at Highland Hill Farm, and these are some forsythias that we have. They're about almost six foot tall. They're bald and burlapped. We dug them about two, three weeks ago. They're already starting to root out. You can see the roots starting to come right out of these things, right down here in the base. And they're a multi-stem shrub. And we sell a lot of other trees and shrubs here, as well as forsythia. And right in this pot here is privet. 
and over here is emerald green arborvitaeus and out in the yard out there are more emerald greens Leland cypresses uh, we also have some boxwoods there's some cherry laurels up there and on this farm we have a lot of trees plants and shrubs over here these are a large green giant arborvitaeus that we have for sale they're bald and burlapped And as you can see, we have quite a supply of them. These were just dug yesterday. You can see we field dug them, tied them up. They're all ready to go out on jobs. We have some larger green giants over here. More, more arborvitaes. This is Pyramid Alice. This is the European cranberry, and in our yard we have large trees, large caliper trees, large globe arborvitaes, and this is our stone barn nursery where we have our sales yard. This is a uh, viburnum and dentatum, that's arrowwood viburnum, it's called blue muffin. Summer sweet. These are bamboo. This is a, a, a dwarf bamboo, a non invasive type. More boxwoods, burning bushes, eastern red cedar, bayberry. We have Japanese maples, cameo cypresses, red beauty hollies. Rheingold Arborvitae, Sea Green Junipers. We have thousands of trees, plants, and shrubs. We're growing on a couple hundred acres here in Bucks County. We also have a couple thousand acres in Bradford County, so we grow a lot of nursery stock besides Persithia. But uh, you can stop in and pick most of your nursery stuff, stock up, or we can deliver and plant. So give us a call at 215-651-8329. This is Bill Hurst at Highland Hill Farm.